Hey guys, what's up? Pete's moving out here. I got braces. Kill me. <coughs> but unfortunately, because of the braces, I can no longer eat pizza crust. What a what a disgrace to my religion. I'm going to pizza hell now. So to distract myself from my pizza hell religion. So to distract myself from my depression, we're gonna look at the new version of Manjaro that came out today. Manjaro 19.0 just came out, and Tyler's Tech beat me to making a video. Damn it! I guess I'm, I'm gonna remain second. Alright, so I'm going to read the release notes for Manjaro 19. The XFCE remains our flagship offering and received the attention it deserves. Yeah, no kidding. With this release, we ship XFCE 4.14 and have focused on polishing the user experience with the desktop and window manager. We have switched to a new theme called Matcha, and a new feature called Display Profiles also allows you to store one or more profiles with your preferred display configuration. Well, the first thing I noticed when I booted into the new Manjaro XFCE is that it looks pretty much the same. They claimed they did like a small desktop redesign, but on this video I found of Manjaro 18.1 XFCE edition, the only difference I could find just by looking at it was that the panel is bigger. The other thing I noticed is that this display profile thing, this is actually a feature introduced in the XFCE itself. Nothing Manjaro did. Next up, we have Manjaro KDE. Our KDE edition provides a powerful, mature, and feature-rich 5.17 desktop environment with unique look and feel, which we completely redesigned for this release. The full set of Breath 2 themes includes a light and dark versions, animated splash screen, console profiles, yonky skins, and many little details. We have rounded off text editor K with some additional color schemes and offer Plasma Simple Menu as an alternative to the traditional kickoff launcher. Uh, no you didn't. With a wide selection of latest KDE apps 19.12.2 and other applications, Manjaro KDE aims to be a versatile and elegant environment for all your everyday needs. Alright, just to clarify, uh, if you go to show alternatives, there is Simple Menu here. Anyways, first time I looked at this, I couldn't really find any differences, to be honest, between this and the old version. However, then I looked up a YouTube video of Manjaro KDE, and it appears that the header bar used to be basically pitch white. I mean, it still is if the window is inactive, but <laughs> whatever. Now it's gray, similar to Breeze, and yeah. I wouldn't call this a full redesign, they just changed some colors, I feel like. But still pretty cool and still more attention than they gave their flagship edition XFCE. Now it is nice that a uh, simple menu is available as an alternative menu now, but there's one thing I don't like about this release. This release ships with Plasma 5.17 and not Plasma 5.18. To be fair, Plasma 5.18 only came out like a week ago, like I, th I think two weeks ago actually, but I, th I feel like Plasma 5.18 was worth delaying the release, I feel like. Given that K1 added major support for client-side decorations, which is a major feature. As soon as Plasma 5.18 gets added to Manjaro, I would like to see a new ISO for it. Overall, Manjaro is still one of the only Plasma distros I would recommend, given how much they've done to Plasma. But they have done some things like add in Manjaro settings to the KDE system settings, which is really nice. And finally, the GNOME edition. This is shipping with GNOME 3.34, which has included a visual refresh for several applications and the desktop itself. Now this GNOME edition is they definitely spent a lot of time on. Like the old version, it actually had a menu at the top, arc menu, and then it had a dock similar to how Unity does it. They have since scrapped that for basically stock gnome with a dock.
there is a nightlight mode, so I, I'm guessing that's a feature similar to like Night Shift on iOS or F. Lux. They also added their own dynamic wallpaper. This wallpaper changes on different times of the day. So if I change the system time, now the wallpaper changes with the time too. Post says that GNOME now allows you to create custom folders in the application overview. Again, that's a GNOME feature and I don't know why they're talking about it like it's a flagship Jaro feature, but whatever. Now here's a really cool feature. We have a layout switcher here. If we open up the layout switcher, we have six layouts that we can choose from. We have a Manjaro layout, which is default. We have a traditional layout, which I believe is supposed to be Windows 7. Yep, Bio was right. This is Windows 7. Pretty nice looking. We have a Unity layout, which makes Manjaro function and look like Unity. One thing I don't like about this Unity layout though is it has a Unity menu, but then it also has a Show Applications menu. Move this Unity menu over to the dock. from the future. It turns out I'm an idiot. I forgot to hit refresh desktop and it glitched out Unity. There's also a modern layout. Now this is supposed to be like a Mac OS layout and uh, it looks pretty good. We have a GNOME layout. Now this is pretty much a stock GNOME. Pretty nice looking. Finally, we have a Mate layout or a GNOME 2 layout don't like the theming down here, but whatever. I'm going to go with the Unity layout, because that one seems to be the coolest, even though it didn't work the first time. So yeah, this is a pretty well to put together a nice Unity layout. If you get Manjaro, I definitely recommend this one, although why are these buttons on the side? For some reason, these buttons are on the right side instead of the left side. That's dumb. Also, if we go to settings in the layout switcher, we have dynamic wallpaper settings, which will allow you to make your own dynamic wallpapers. It allows you to open the GNOME Tweak tool, open up the online account settings, have Manjaro branding, or if you don't want it, you can remove it, a Wayland session, desktop icons, a system tray, and an automatic dark theme. Overall, pretty cool. Final feature is it will now automatically switch between the dark and light theme when nightlight is tri uh, triggered. There's also a new theme for the login screen and the addition for Feral's game mode. So, pretty cool. Alright, I'm done talking about Manjaro, but now what? I'm just gonna start thinking about Pizza Hell. Thank you to my patrons, Michelle Vantino and Sam Covet. Check out my merch in the description that nobody has bought yet. And check out RBRY. And if you're using RBRY right now, feel free to tip me. Anyways, I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. Good night.